That side of the road is Vancouver, and I'm standing in the green pastures of Burnaby. And the name of the boundary road separating the two cities? You guessed it. Boundary Road. Incredible. Here on the corner of Boundary and Henning Drive is the beautiful Accent Inn. And according to TV news reports, on February 18th, 2022, a Canadian hero died at the age of 56 inside a guest room here. His name was Steve Fonio. Steve Fonio, of course, is best remembered as the courageous young man who conquered Canada, running coast to coast with an artificial leg after his hero Terry Fox's attempt was tragically cut short. Steve called his fundraising trek Journey for Lives. He started it March 31, 1984 at age 18, completed it in 425 days, May 29, 1985 is when he finished, covered 8,000 kilometers and raised $14 million for charity. Besides visiting the hotel where Mr. Fonio passed away, it would be nice to pay our respects at his final resting place, but that's in Vernon, a 10-hour round trip, and Driving all that way just for this little vlog? Well, that well, would be crazy. Let's go. Alright, we're on the highway here and we got her up to a pretty good clip. While we're driving, I can tell you that Steve Fonio lost his leg at the age of 12. But he carried on his life undeterred. He was a brave little guy. He ran all the way across Canada to raise money for cancer research. At the end of his journey in Victoria, he dipped his foot in the Pacific Ocean, and they named the place Fonio Beach in his honor. He even received the Order of Canada Award. Great documentary about Steve called Hurt. Alright, we're getting close to our destination. Stay tuned, friends! We're looking for Section G. Pleasant Valley sure is a beautiful cemetery here in Vernon. Very well maintained. Lots of love here. After Steve's triumphant coast-to-coast -coast run, he, he had some difficult challenges. He had some legal trouble and, well, the feds stripped away his awards. And I think they even stopped calling it Fonio Beach. Seemed like the whole world was against him. Okay, we're at the east end of the cemetery here, and just off Poplar Street, here is the final resting place of Steve Fonio. Ooh, a lovely little headstone. It says, Journey for Lives, the name of his fundraiser, and across Canada, with a map of the big country he conquered on one leg. Steve Fonio, June 29, 1965 to February 18th, 2022. And it looks like Steve is resting in peace beside his dad, Steve Fonio Sr. Reminds me of two other runners who we featured in recent vlogs here on the JCVC channel, Terry Fox and Vancouver's greatest Olympian, Percy Williams. Both resting in peace beside their dads too. In 2015, Steve was attacked and stabbed by three home invaders. And they think his death was a seizure related to the brain trauma he suffered from the attack. Poor guy. He really had some challenges in his lifetime. Wish I could have met him shook his hand and said, Thank you for being so brave. Steve Fonio. Thank you for watching today and remembering courageous Steve Fonio. My condolences to his loved ones. In my opinion, he was a great man. And I'm sure history will see it that way too. I'm Jean-Claude Vancouver. And until next time, be good to the other.